okay. Now you've um, edited your interview. You've added your B-roll. Now you need to add a graphic that indicates who it is that is in your piece, also known as the lower third. So when you go to record your interviews, it's very important that you have them right at the start, introduce themselves to camera while you're recording, and the proper spelling of their name. The name may not be spelled the way you're accustomed to, so you want to be sure you get that right. So right here, let's find out who our interview subject is. Donna Lee, D-O-N-N-A-L-E-E. Perfect. Good name to remember, Donna Lee. So let's go ahead and make our graphic. So you'll see on the top here, we have editing and we had audio. Right next to that is graphics. So click on that. And now you'll see there's some graphic templates that are common and um, easily to use. So we want to go ahead and search templates for the lower third graphic. So lower third, hit enter. Now we got some to choose from, different styles. We're going to choose this basic lower third for this lesson. So this is what we're going to use. Click, hold, drag, and drop it to the spot where you want it to be, usually right at the beginning of your clip. So now that this is chosen, you select that graphic that's on top of the video so you could see the name through the video. And we wanna go ahead and change the template to what you need. So your name here, we'll double click so it activates. Type in D-O-N-N-A-L-E-E, -E, and then click off it to activate. Then we'll go ahead, select that again, and go down to second line is smaller, and then we're gonna choose what she does. So she is a vendor at the Oyster Bay Festival. Okay. All right. Click off that. And we're good. Now, this may not look like it um, stands out against the video. So you might need to do a couple of things to make sure you could see it more pronounced. So click on that graphic again. Make sure your playhead's there. Go ahead and select the name. And you'll notice you have all of these settings you can do. You can change the size. You could change even the type of text. I'm going to go down here and maybe we'll change the stroke to a black border around it, perhaps. It can help a little bit. And you also want to do the shadow. The drop shadow will help a lot to kind of let this pop out. You can see already it's kind of making a good impression with Donna Lee popped out there. You could change how strong you want the drop shadow to be. Right now it's at 100%. You can make it 50% if it's a little bit too strong. But I like mine right here at 100%. I'll then go back to the top. Choose the second line. Again, go to the stroke. Change the color there by clicking on the white. Make that black. Click OK. So it's a contrast of what your fill color is. Select the shadow for the drop shadow. There's your angle, other settings, how uh, transparent you want to be. 100% means there is no transparency. That's fine for us. We're good. We click off of it. And now we play it back. Bye. I've been working the in the Oyster Festival 20 Pops out years, it. Easy and I've been to in read. charge of the Oyster and then it goes away. about 10 If you want to add anything like a transition and make it you know, smooth in or smooth out, you could do that as well. Uh, but that's basically it, what it takes to put in a lower third. And now you're ready to export your final piece once you've identified everybody. So you go ahead, play around with some of the other graphics that might be in here to try out different settings. But the basic one seems to be the best fit for what you're doing right now.